Hey YouTube, it's Everything Epan here, and today I am doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows Memphis Build 1400 in VirtualBox or VMware. This is the beta 1 uh, part of Memphis and was part of the beta of Windows 98. Originally, uh, Windows Nashville was what would have been leading to Windows 98. But that led to a update basically in Windows 95. So um, they uh, after that codenamed it first Memphis, and then in, during Beta 2, I believe uh, they renamed it to Windows 98. So uh, this is Memphis Build 1400 in Beta 1. So um, for this tutorial, you will need to have uh, Windows 95 installed. Uh, before you can do the Windows Memphis because it's basically like an upgrade if you would consider it from 95 to uh, Memphis so I'll have a link in the description on my video tutorial on how to install Windows 95 um, and also have the links in the description for VirtualBox, VMware, WinRAR, uh, the ISO for um, um, Memphis and also the password will be in the description and also in the bottom right of the video you'll see it but you won't be able to see it when the white part of this comes up so um, all those links will be in the description BIOS day too so let's begin so open up VirtualBox or VMware and I'm just gonna show you to create a new machine right now but I already have one running that has 95 pre-installed so create a machine and select Windows 98 as the version and then hit next hit next to uh, keep the RAM and you can leave the uh, hard drive at 2 gigs and then you'll hit settings and then go to storage and then put in the uh, files for Windows 95 setup you'll uh, get those from the video in the description so just go ahead and do that install Windows 95 and you'll be caught up to where you need to be to be in this video so go watch that tutorial first get Windows 95 installed and you can go from there so uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the machine that's running with Windows 95 pre-installed and you still won't be able to see the password in the bottom right once I get the full screen method going here you'll get it to work um, so when you have Windows 95 running you'll need to go to the bottom here to the date and time and you'll need to right click hit adjust date and time and then you'll need to change the BIOS date to February 25th, 1997. And um, that will be in the description if you uh, maybe are not watching this video as an audio. I don't even know why I'm talking about that right now. But that will be in the description for future reference as well. So I messed up. It says January, but it's actually February. So it's the 25th of 1997. So there it is and I actually changed it there you go February 25th 1997 go ahead and apply that and hit OK to uh, save the uh, date and now what you'll need to do is insert the ISO for Windows Memphis and um, that'll be in the description and then what you'll need to do is you'll need to go up into um, my computer here we go now I'm making it full screen you should be able to see the password now in the bottom right um, go up to my computer if I'm bear with me this is a voiceover so I'm trying to remember how I did this tutorial so here we go go up to my computer click on Memphis or double click on it double click on retail and then when you get into that folder double click on uh, setup with the little icon up there and then it should play a uh, NT 4.0 sound. I don't have the sound turned on, so otherwise you'd hear my voice twice. So now it'll say "Welcome to Memphis Setup." Congratulations on your choice of Memphis, the newest and easiest way to do what you want with your PC. And it says that setup will take from 30 to 60 minutes, depending on the speed of your computer. And you see down on the bottom left that uh, enable sound is uh, checked but when you get later into the setup it'll be grayed out and you won't have any sound so I've had problems with that lately or whenever I do Memphis I have no idea I just never have gotten the sound to work on Memphis but you'll see in the uh, later part of this tutorial maybe why it doesn't um, but you'll see that so now it'll uh, 
Um, the setup is preparing the uh, setup wizard for Memphis now and you see that the time has jumped down to 19 minutes instead so now we come up to the license agreement screen go ahead and accept that and hit next and then it's going to prepare your hard drive to install Windows Memphis so it's going to check for install components and check the drive space available and you'll obviously have enough since all you have on here is Windows 95 and back then this is two gigs and back then it did not take at all any uh, hard drive space to install Windows at all so and here is part of it what maybe could be causing it save system files it works for me when I do no but it recommends you do it but whenever I think whenever I've tried hitting yes it never works so I don't know it's just kinda of debatable you guys can uh, try doing yes on this if you want if it doesn't work you can try it again by hitting no the next time but that's just what I'm gonna do um, I'm just gonna hit no and hit next and now it'll come up with the um, I believe yep startup disk and then what you do there is hit next we don't even have a startup disk in anyway so it doesn't even matter it'll just ask you to insert one get it button hit cancel and then click OK because there's none to remove and now you hit next to start copying files so um, it'll say the estimated time remaining is 12 minutes and um, it's going to prepare and copy files so you're just gonna have to let this sit and do its thing and it'll copy all those files and install Memphis onto the computer and that's kind of what you just do there so this can take it may take 12 minutes you never know but for me it doesn't take long at all um, but when you get through part of the setup this screen comes up that says a file being copied is older than the file currently on your computer and it is recommended that you keep your existing file yet again I say no because it works but you can try hitting yes. I have no idea if it works by hitting yes. Whenever I hit no, it works for me. So, um, but uh, I mean the operating system works, but like sound or anything isn't there. But what I do is I just hit no to all because then I don't have to worry about all those screens popping up. Or otherwise, you'd be hitting no a ton of times. But you guys can hit yes to those. I guess if they work for you, I have no idea. But for now, I'm just gonna hit no to all, and that's what I've normally done every time, and it's worked for me and um, so you guys can experiment with that I'll experiment with it too it's it's weird how Memphis doesn't work like that so um, now it'll just continue copying files and um, I'll jump to the first restart point here so after a while you'll be ready to restart and it'll say remove all disks so that's what you want to do go to the optical devices and remove the uh, Memphis ISO click OK and then click restart now and then it'll restart the machine and now um, it'll say starting Memphis it'll say getting ready to run Memphis for the first time you can see that the Memphis text is edited in there a little bit if you can tell because normally it, before it said Windows 95 so now it'll continue through Memphis setup and you'll see in the bottom right quick there 4.10.1400 that's proof it says Microsoft Memphis there so now and if you can see in the bottom left um, enable sound is grayed out so that could have a factor of how we installed it but that's just normally how I do it so now during this step it's going going to install or set up hardware and uh, install devices on your computer but um, while it's doing that a screen will come up it says you need to insert the uh, Windows Memphis CD-ROM and um, you don't need to do this I did it for the purpose of what it was gonna do so if you hit OK it still wouldn't be able to find those files so what you would do is either hit cancel if you keep hitting OK it won't continue so what we do is hit skip file and then just keep doing that on every single one and if it, skip file is grayed out like on I'll show you on one of the files here you would hit cancel so just keep hitting OK and skip file and then um, it'll eventually uh, stop doing that so there you go skip files grayed out 
and you can't continue so hit cancel and just keep on doing that I'm just gonna I just showed you guys all of them just to uh, show you what would happen so now we'll get to the second restart point here and then we'll restart and it'll do the same thing it'll look like you're in a loop the second time this comes up but in reality you're not because the ISO uh, will be sorry gone there um, ISO will be ejected so there you go second restart point so what I went and did is I went and took out the ISO since I didn't need it anymore and I hit restart now and then the machine restarted you saw the uh, Memphis splash screen there but when this boots up it gives you the 95 splash screen it's a little weird but um, now it'll go back into the setup and do some more setting up and there you see in the bottom right again of the 1400 um, it'll do some more setting up of hardware and plug and play devices and um, so it'll do that and it'll say please insert the uh, CD-ROM again shortly and the file names are the same but what you do is just skip file every time um, and the operating system will install but sound doesn't work you don't have all the colors and resolutions and everything but um, at least the operating system works you can you can uh, test around with it and maybe you can figure out how to install a sound driver I'm not sure because um, it's kind of a complicated process so while this is going into the desktop because it's final exit settings and we'll go to the desktop here um, I forgot to mention something in the video about Memphis what happens if you um, completely shut down the machine it will um, it, when you try to boot it up it'll say that it has expired and that you have to uh, contact to get a new license or whatever and when you try to press any key to try and boot it up and do the scan disk or whatever and everything it'll just shut off again so what you have to do is um, in the little menu down below you see the white menu uh, it won't pop up now but the, the video is popping up here but the white menu down below here um, when you hit the X to um, when you hit the X to quote unquote power off the machine hit the other option save machine state because then it won't shut down and it'll save the progress of where you were last at and even if you close VirtualBox or if you turn off your actual computer it will say it will still save the machine state that way if you want to keep using Memphis you won't have to and not want to restall reinstall it you just save the machine state it may keep the date that it's at of February 25th 1999 or 1997 or it may sync back with the current date so that's why it does that because sometimes when you reboot it VirtualBox will sync back to the main computer's date um, so that's why you would want to save the machine state um, in order for that to work so just a tip for you guys so that you can keep Memphis without having to reinstall it all the time so um, and you can see in the bottom right corner it says Microsoft Memphis 4.10.1400 so um, there you go guys that's the video tutorial on how to install Windows Memphis build 1400 thank you guys for watching um, uh, comment below your ideas like the video if it helped you out share it other so I can see it um, I think we're getting nearing uh, 2,000 subs so it's unbelievable and I can't thank you guys enough so um, links will be in the description for all the stuff ISOs and VirtualBox and everything and uh, once again don't forget to subscribe once again thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video